Hey y'all, what's up? Y'all already know what time it is. We finna get into this traffic and chat. Fall in love with me. I introduced her to the game and let her thug with me. She be like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like if she would die, she give her soul to me. She wanna be close to me. Oh, she said she fuck with me the long way. She said she gon' rub my back. I had a long day. Say, baby, I ain't gon' lead you down the wrong way. Okay. So first, let me <laughs> excuse my absence, and I'm trying to hurry up for the sun go down, cause then I'm gonna be all dark and shit. I'm just now leaving work, and it's 8:18. Oh lord, that's why I have not been before y'all, um, because I've been working like a goddamn Hebrew slave, and I don't appreciate it. But I gotta do what I gotta. I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta do what I gotta do. Um. And I missed y'all so much. I miss recording. Like, I really, I really been slipping. And I haven't did a traffic and chat in so long. And I try to alternate my videos to where I get y'all a little mix of everything. And it's about time for a reaction video. Which, what the fuck is in my eye? Jesus fix it. Which is um kind of what this is. But it's more so a discussion as well. So, y'all know... <laughs> Y'all seen the title, so y'all know what we about to talk about, right? What the fuck is going on in the world today? <laughs> ma'am, ma'am. What is y'all doing? Again, y'all know it's a traffic and chat, so y'all gonna hear me cussing, fussing at the cars and everything else. But I'm gonna try to stay focused on uh, the topic at hand. So, what's going on in the world today? Like, like, so, uh, mamas is sleeping with daughters, baby daddies now? Like, is this what we really, is this what we doing? Is this what we do? My point to crooked as hell. Is this what we doing? This can't be life. Like, we, I hate humans. We have not gotten to this part of society. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so done. I'm so done. Brooklyn sent me the clip because I haven't been on social media, but I try to check my messages because I know y'all be sending me stuff. Brooklyn sent me the clip and I was like, what the fuck is happening? So I went on YouTube to watch the full video. I ain't gonna lie, I skipped through that motherfucker because it was too goddamn long. Um, and obviously I can't put the video up here, but y'all can go watch it. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen the shit anyway. But I have an issue like everybody else and I, I got questions like like what Th there's no there's no justification as to why you were in the bed in a silk robe damn near lingerie with your daughter's baby daddy like how the fuck do you explain that shit and she attempted to explain it Baby, let me tell you something. I'm not finna play with Melissa in such a capacity. Like, <laughs> I'm not finna do that. Like, what mama, what kind of mama are you? That was some narcissistic behavior. Like, I can't even take you seriously right now. And the second part where she tried to explain herself. Damn, I forgot my window was broke. I was like, damn, what is when she tried to explain herself and cried and made the video and did all that extra shit, ma'am, ma'am, you should have just shut the fuck up. You really should have just shut the fuck up. Like, you shouldn't have said nothing. What was the point? What was the point other than you trying to gain some type of sympathy online because your ass just got blasted online and shout out to the daughter for recording that shit in the first place now i'm not really a big fan on putting your business on social media i don't really fuck with that shit like that because i feel like some shit just don't go on the internet like but i grew up in the era where what goes on in the house stay in the house and i just feel like it'd be too much sometimes but at the same time y'all give people shit like me <laughs> like y'all give shit to people like me that got something to talk about and so she had every right to blast her mama because bitch you got me what you got me is fucked up and she handled it so well like she handled it so well now i don't know how her and her mama relationship was at first 
But I can't sit here and say I would have been that calm about it. Like, she was angry. She was like, you know, taking me my phone, taking clothes out, blah, blah, blah. First of all, you're dealing with an ain't shit nigga. But, nevertheless, that's another topic. She was like, um, you know, she handled it way better than I would have. I got anger issues. I got bipolar disorder. I probably would have threw some shit. I for sure would have threw some shit. Like, I definitely would have threw some shit. I probably would have tried to hit a motherfucker. Like, baby. I, I, I could, it couldn't have been no recording. It couldn't have been, because nothing in me would have been like, oh, shit, take out your phone and record it. Like, we got to put this on social media. Fuck that phone. I'm finna tell everything in this motherfucker. Including y'all. I'm sorry. I'm just going to take the charge. Like, like somebody going to get a TV thrown at their head at this point. Because the audacity of y'all to do some shit like this. And it's like, the baby daddy, that shit was fucked up what he did. But if I'm looking at the video according to how she had him unass all the shit that he had on. Or attempted to take her shit back lets me further know you an ain't shit baby daddy and an ain't shit nigga. Niggas gonna do what the fuck they wanna do. Like niggas, it's some ain't shit niggas out here. So he was wrong as fuck, but I'm mad at the mama. Like let's let's focus at the, at the mama because that's where everybody's focus focusing anyway. It's like you know your baby daddy ain't shit. So are you really surprised? Like are you really surprised? Like are you really surprised? I know that's some out of the ordinary type shit like cause normally you catch niggas with bitches but are you really surprised cause you know your baby daddy ain't shit but the mama your own mama bro man hell no she would have bro we would have had to fight that day we, I'm sorry and I, I would never I am not one to agree with putting your hands on a parent but baby <laughs> I done had to slap the shit out of it. I at least got to slap it. Because you being real disrespectful right now. And the and the, the fact that you trying to justify the situation just pisses me off even more. Because she fucked up when she tried to give her bullshit ass reason as to why she did it in the baby and all that bullshit. Like I said, I fast forwarded through all that. But in the video says, well, you don't cook and you work all the time blah 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 you wasn't treating him right so, baby daddy okay what they got to do with you though like that's not it's not your responsibility to pick up the slack for what your daughter not doing that shit nasty that's incest like what I don't know if y'all was fucking or not but I ain't stupid y'all was probably fucking and it probably wasn't the first time so if y'all fucking and the mama get pregnant that shit nasty like <laughs> it's not funny but it's funny than the public like that shit's so nasty bro like the trauma that it would put the daughter through not the daughter well the daughter of the mother and the granddaughter the baby like I, I just can't imagine Somebody make it make sense. Somebody make it make sense. Because there's this just no justification for the shit. And the fact that you got on that. And then the girl said, I don't know if somebody, that, you know, called Jerry Springer or Maury or blah, blah, blah. Bitch, what? First of all, what the fuck is we calling Maury for? <laughs> if we, are you pregnant and we trying to figure out who the baby daddy is? And Jerry Springer, really? Like, that used to be my shit back in the day, but I don't watch that shit. I don't even know if that shit see us even come on. Like, why are you crying out for help? Like, nobody gives a fuck. You're trifling this shit. What you did was wrong. You need to own up to it. And you're giving conflicting stories. You're trying to give reasons as to why you did it. No, bitch. Use a fucked up narcissistic ass, hoe ass nigga. Like you a whole ass mama for that shit And then she like well I just My daughter isn't speaking to me And I just want to Talk to her you goddamn right She ain't speaking to you I wouldn't speak to your ass either 
Of course she's not speaking to you. What do you expect her to do? Like me and my mama have had our troubles and I ain't gonna lie to you. And I tell people this all the time. Sometimes you gotta take a break from family because believe it or not, family is, they will be the worst people that hurt you. Like, or they will be the people that hurt you the most. Family, it hit different. It hit different. Like, sometimes you got to feed people with a long handle spoon. And I have literally had to separate myself from my family a couple times and isolate just to get through past traumas or past situations. And I, I went a period of time, and because I'm completely transparent, I went a period of time without talking to my mama. So, she, she don't have to talk to you. People think, this people... I love my mama to death and everybody out there with uh with mamas that they love to death even in all their flaws and you know prayers to the people who don't even have a mama but just because somebody is your parent does not mean that they can do whatever they want and hurt you in such a way and you automatically forgive them. You you got to talk to them. Like, you got you to gotta talk to her. That's your mama. You know, you have to speak to her. That's disrespectful. If you don't, she brought you into this world. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, man, I'm sorry, but fuck all that sometimes. Like, fuck all that. Now, I would never end it on a bad note. I would never curse and do all that other shit. Because I also believe in, you know, anything could happen. You know, you can, you have to be grateful that you have a mama because a lot of people don't. And I don't want to be the person that wake up tomorrow, something happened to my mama, and we ended on bad terms. So, even though we're not speaking does not mean that we're on bad terms. I still love her. I'm still going to tell her I love her regardless. But just because somebody is your mother does not mean, or even your, your dad for that is and y'all know how I am I got daddy issues because mine not here no more but even with that like your parents people have this notion to where you have to respect your parents because they're your parents sometimes you gotta separate yourself sometimes parents do whole ass shit like this this some whole ass shit if that girl don't want to talk to you for, for 10 goddamn years that's her that's her prerogative. That's what she wants to do. That's what she can do. She don't have to talk to you. That's what you get. You made a fucked up decision and you was in the bed with this girl's baby daddy. And if, if I'm listening to the video correctly, the baby was there? Like what? Because the, the mama said the baby wanted to get in the bed or some shit. So the baby is there. So because a lot of us as women now this don't bother me I'm not one of these women a lot of us as women don't even want to leave our nigga around females like friends and shit like because it's like I don't, I don't trust it <laughs> like you ain't gonna be in here with a bunch of bitches or even one of my friends and I'm not here I'm not really more so that person just because I try to trust people like I'm not gonna until you give me a reason not to then I try to trust people but I also know my friends and I know they ain't gonna do no whole ass shit like that because my friend circle is tight and it's only certain friends that I would leave now I ain't gonna leave you with no strange ass bitch in my house and it's just y'all too obviously but this is her mom so like my exes or even like let's take Rodney for example or Bobby or whatever, like they'll go out to eat with mom, like take my mom out to eat, you know, have a little, a, a little gap, um, have a little time on some mother in law, son in law type shit. Like, oh, okay, let me take my mom out to eat. And I don't want to go because I'm like, you know, that's y'all little moment. But you supposed to be able to have your baby daddy in the house with your mama. So let's say they all live together. I don't know if they do, but let's say they all live together in the same house because the mama. Like, her and her baby daddy staying with the mama or whatever. Or the mama could be staying at their house. Because, obviously, they was in the girl house in her bed, which is another thing. But, they, uh, the grandmama babysitter, something like that. The baby daddy might come and pick them up or come spend time with them or whatever. And the, the daughter of the baby mama ain't there. You should be able to have that level of trust. 
with your with your mom, you should be able to have that level of trust. And the fact that this mama sat here and took advantage of the situation, you couldn't go find another young nigga to fuck with? Sugar mama? <laughs> like, you, you couldn't go find another young nigga? It's plenty of young niggas out here that want a, a sugar mama. It's plenty of fish in the goddamn sea, especially bum niggas. You can go find you a bum nigga anywhere. And you chose this one? Was it easy access? Like, I got so many questions. What made you think that this shit was okay? You got, it's something, you got to be messed up in the head to think that shit was okay. And the fact that you tried to justify it lets me further know you got to be fucked in the head to think that shit was okay. And I don't like that part because you tried to flip it and you went online and did it because you got tired of people bashing the shit out of you because your daughter was smart enough to put your ass on blast. So therefore you feel like, okay, people are being mean to me. People are talking shit. People, let me, let me put my statement out there and say what I got to say. For what? Cause we, what we not trying to do is hear that shit. Fuck your fake ass tears. Fuck your fake ass reasoning. Fuck your fake ass justification. Fuck your bullshit. You should have kept that shit to your motherfucking self. Just like Jada should have kept her old stupid ass statement to her motherfucking self. Like, bro, that's some narcissistic behavior. I don't like that. I don't like that. It's fucked up. It's not cool. That was some whole ass shit and it pissed me off. Like, nah, bro. That's, that's not what we doing. That is not what we doing. And, and before I let y'all go, because I'm almost at home, y'all want to know what's even more fucked up. I watched the video, right? And I want to say like two days later, and this had to be maybe like three days ago or, so, or whatever. Tell me why, because I was deciding if I was going to do a video on it or not. Tell me why I had a dream about Rodney and my mama. <laughs> I ain't tell my mama but I told Rodney but it's crazy cause it was it was Rodney but it wasn't him in the dream it was like cause you know sometimes our subconscious creates like other people to replace somebody that's really in our life so it wasn't his body but it was him and I, I want to say it was the same situation because y'all know dreams are hard to remember, but he was in the bed and my mama, he was with my mama. Like, I literally had that dream. And I'm just like, I woke up like, oh, hell no, I got to talk about this shit because the irony, <laughs> like the irony of this fuck shit as I'm sitting here contemplating if I'm going to react on this shit and then this dream happens, like... I can't wait to tell my mama this shit. I'm definitely gonna tell my mama. She gonna she gonna be so grossed out. Like she, she gonna be so grossed out. But I was like, you know what? This is fucked up. The fact that I had this dream and I'm sitting here contemplating on reacting to this video. Y'all, this shit sent me. But I couldn't do nothing but laugh because I know it it wouldn't happen. It's it's not happening. Like I I know Melissa. She know better. Like, and, and niggas are, the dudes that I've dated know better too, but dudes can be, um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Dudes can be very charming and manipulative. So people that's vulnerable, like this girl's mama, and I'm getting darker because it's ain't going down. People who are vulnerable, like this girl mama, they fall for shit like that because they're lonely they can't find nobody they own fucking age or they don't want nobody they age they want a younger person like they fall for stupid ass shit like that like he probably sweet talked her motherfucking ass gave her some bullshit ass excuse or charmed or whatever the fuck to get her in that goddamn bed period you gotta have some low fucking self esteem like you got so many insecurities and shit like, nah, son. Nah, that shit ain't that shit ain't okay. That, nothing about that is okay. It, it's not okay. It's not gonna be okay. I hate humans. <laughs> I hate humans. This is this is what we doing. 
Is this really what we doing in life? I I hope that daughter I know I can't even imagine how she feel. I can't even imagine the type of hurt and pain that she's going through right now. But I'm glad she put that shit on blast and she shouldn't talk to her mama. I, I know I wouldn't be able to until I'm ready. So you just gonna have to sit there and cry and wait and do all this other shit. We ain't finna go on no Jerry Springer. We ain't finna go on more. We ain't finna do none of that shit. Bitch, you just gonna have to wait because you fucked up. You need to take accountability and get over that shit. She gonna talk to you when she ready to talk to you. Until then, leave me the fuck alone. Block. Don't come to my house. Don't do none of that. And you was in her bed? You was in her bed? What? That that just makes that add fuel to the fire. You was in her bed. The disrespect. On so many levels. Child, let me go. Because I'm going to get mad and shit. <laughs> I just had to talk about that real quick because it was a thing and then after I had the dream I was like ah fuck it I'm gonna do a trafficking chat and then just speak on the situation but everybody pretty much had the same opinion that she was fucked up that she was stupid that she was nasty the mama should be a fucking shame of herself and you read what you saw period that's what I'm gonna say so until the next video which I'm gonna work on videos y'all think I'm gonna go do a reaction video I just need more videos to react to. I ain't did a camera one in a while, so I'll probably find some of those. But until the next video, I will see y'all later. Bye.